Released in November of 1969, this sports drama, based on the novel The Downhill Racers by Oakley Hall, barely broke even with its $1.8 million budget. A young and seemingly ageless Robert Redford stars as a hotshot American who has a talent and ambition for downhill skiing, later getting recruited by coach Gene Hackman to compete for the U.S. delegation in the upcoming Winter Olympics. Although the two Hollywood legends share a number of scenes together, they're never provided an opportunity to really showcase their A-game, and honestly, Hackman seems entirely wasted in the one-note role. When Redford is criticized for clashing with his fellow competitors due to his aggressive ski style, another racer is quick to point out, well, it's not exactly a team sport, is it? The contemporary sounding music by Kenyon Hopkins drives some tension during several scenes, but drops out to complete silence for most of the skiing portions, allowing only the sound of crunching snow and speeding athletes to populate the soundtrack. Released under the short-lived M rating, which later evolved into today's PG equivalent, this picture's pacing and sensibilities are very much stuck in the 1960s. The 101-minute film is a slow-moving experience with little dialogue to propel the overly simplistic plot. Visually speaking, however, there's some brilliant cinematography at work here, including an inventive first-person POV shot of a downhill run, decades before cheap and versatile cameras like the GoPro would make such imagery almost commonplace. These alpine portions are faithfully recreated and truly exciting to watch unfold, even if Redford's eventual success is all but a predictable conclusion. Select sequences are also edited with a brisk and original style, but these are sadly few and far between. Beat you to the bottom. The laid-back approach from director Michael Ritchie allows the viewer to inhabit some of Redford's fears, excitement, and anxiety atop the slopes prior to each run, but generally does a poor job of explaining the stakes. As it doesn't offer any compelling reason to watch, I can't really recommend this picture, but since there's so few Winter Olympic-themed movies, for fans of the sport, this is one of your scant options. Outside of Redford fans or Alpine enthusiasts, this is a bland, uninspired, and predictable sports film with little rewatch value. Downhill Racer, aged well, but not interesting. Here's my final score, a four. While I was never outright bored, I never really cared about anything either. The racing portions were exciting, but overall, this was just a meh.